Gene therapy needs to become a commodity. And we'd rather do it now, so we don't wait for five years, because we know there's competitors out there. There's the US and there's Europe, and they're thinking about this now. I work for Mira GTX. We have a portfolio that is specialising in inherited retinal disease and also neurodegenerative diseases. Currently, when you manufacture gene therapy products, you would use a bacterially derived plasmid. This takes a long time, it's labour intensive, and it introduces impurities into the process. Using a fully synthetic process, there's far fewer impurities, and it's available in a higher quality in a shorter time. Virus manufacturing is made in clean rooms, as the one behind me, and in order to make it cheaply and available for a larger amount of people, uh, we need to make uh, production runs in bioreactors. And then instead of being able to help 100 or so patients, we can help a few thousand patients. What Synthetic does, or this project does for us, it takes out that biological variability. So really this technology allows us to pick up what we have and deploy it elsewhere. This will result in us being able to address markets that we wouldn't have been able to address previously. The ISCF uh, Medicines Manufacturing Challenge, it's really set up there to actually take something that's really innovative and commercialise it. So by getting this grant and allowing us to actually engage with companies that are in this field, this synthetic DNA field, we fast track that ability to go to second generation. <laughs>